Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has confirmed reports of the first ever incursion across the border into Western Russia. Ukraine's assault surprised Russian officials as well as Ukrainian allies. Russian soldiers have struggled to repel the invading forces and the Kremlin has sent reinforcements to the region as more than 100,000 civilians have fled. Russian President Vladimir Putin said today the offensive is an attempt by Ukraine to gain leverage in possible future peace talks. International correspondent Megumi Lim has more now from the capital city of Kyiv. That's right, we have entered the seventh day of this uh, Ukrainian incursion into Russia's Kursk region. Uh, today, this attack did, did take many by surprise, including uh, the Russians, where uh, the Russian government had to send in a reinforcement to the Kursk region and also prompting a lot of uh, criticism from uh, Russian citizens and also uh, the Russian military that this uh, even happened in the first place. Now, uh, we, we do not know why Russia wasn't prepared for this, but we have seen reports that Russia's defense minister did ignore some warnings uh, that there was a troop buildup, Ukrainian troop buildup in Ukraine's Sumy region, which sits just across the border from uh, the Kursk region. And this came very unexpectedly, perhaps also because uh, Russian forces have been so uh, focused on advancing and taking more territory in Ukraine eastern uh, Donetsk region where they have indeed been, been making slow but steady advances and inching uh, closer uh, to key Ukrainian military strongholds. Now uh, the objective of this Kursk incursion remains unclear uh, whether or not this is only going to be a cross-border raid, a quick one into Russia's Kursk region or whether or not Ukrainian troops plan to dig in and stay and continue to push deeper inside uh, the Kursk region and more and capture more Russian territory. Uh, analysts have suggested that Ukrainian troops and Kiev is trying to gain some leverage uh, just in case future negotiations do take place with the Kremlin. But again, things remain unclear on the seventh day of, of the incursion, whether or not Russian troops will be able to push back Ukrainian troops back into Ukraine or if Ukrainian troops will be able to push deeper inside Russia.